adding mods to a server in Minecraft 1.19. How exactly do you do it? Well, first and foremost, you need a Forge modded Minecraft server, and in the description down below, we have a guide on how to set up your Forge 1.19 server. It is linked down below, but the easiest way to start a Forge server is with Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex, to start your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected modded Minecraft server in under five minutes with Apex. Apex has high quality hardware, meaning your server will not lag. On top of that, Apex has an amazing 24 hour, seven day a week support team that is there to help you out with any issues you have. We love and trust Apex so much that we have our own server. Play at our breakdowncraft.com on them. So check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get your modded server up and running. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get mods on our server. Now, our Forge 1.19 server is set up here. Something else worth noting, you need Forge installed locally. You must, 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 I cannot stress that enough, have Forge 1.19 installed locally in Minecraft, where whenever you open up the Minecraft launcher, you can select Forge 1.19 in the bottom left here. So as you can see, Forge 1.19, there it is. Now, if it's not the Forge official version, you've created your own, that's fine, but you must have 1.19-Forge on the version you're playing. On top of that, every single person playing on your server has to have Forge 1.19 installed as well, and they also have to install all of the mods on your server locally in their Forge installation as well. One of the downsides of Forge servers, honestly, but it is what it is, and it's something you have to do if you want to start a Forge server and have your friends play on it. Luckily, we have this guide here in the description down below that is how to download and install Forge, and that's going to be something you can send to your friends and have them set up Forge and then get the mods on your server installed. Nevertheless, for this video, we're going to install three mods. First is Spark. This is a mod I'd honestly recommend having on any Minecraft server. You can find the link to Spark and all the other mods we going to be talking about here in the description, and this is basically a mod that allows you to diagnose lag on a Minecraft server. So you can see all the different stuff, memory inspection, server health report, CPU profiler and usage, very, very helpful. So once you're here, click, come to the right hand side, scroll down and download the 1.19 Forge version. Now you may need to keep or save mods after you download them, that's 100% normal if you do, but if you don't, that's okay too, and I don't. So as you can see, it just saves. If you do have to keep it, that's perfectly fine. We're also going to install Journey Map, and Journey Map is an amazing mini map mod for 1.19, and it's actually surprised me how fast it's updated. If we come over here to the right hand side, we can scroll down to the 1.19 Forge version and click on the orange download button to the right of that. Again, wait a few seconds and it will download. Now, last but not least, we are going to be installing a Mr. Crayfish's Furniture mod as well, but this is in beta and I've not had a ton of testing on this. I did do a little test before this video, but overall, not a ton. So if there are any issues with that, I do apologize ahead of time, but you can find the link in the description or we can scroll down and click the download Mr. Crayfish Furniture mod button. Finally, come to the right hand side again, scroll down and download the 1.19 version. As you can see, it is in beta. Once this is saved, though, that's all the mods we're installing today. You can install as many mods as you want on your 1.19 Forge server, but I would recommend kind of doing three or so at a time. That way you know if something does break, how to fix it. Now, before we add these mods to the server, we actually need to add them locally. So to do that, open up the Minecraft launcher here, click on installations, right? And then hover over whatever your Forge profile is. Click on the folder that appears when you hover over that, and that's gonna open up your Minecraft folder. In here, you should have a mods folder, but if you don't have a mods folder, just right click and create a new folder and title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, exactly like that. Open up your mods folder, and now all these mods that you downloaded need to be added here. Where are they? Well, they're in your downloads folder, of course. So let's go grab them. Click the little Windows icons in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, the bottom center of your screen on Windows 11. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. And here are all the mods we downloaded. Crayfish's Furniture Mod, Journey Map, and Spark. I'm going to drag and drop all of these to my desktop. Once these are on your desktop, we want to select them all, right? Just click and drag and select them all. Right click and click copy. Then we want to come back over here to this mods folder, right click and click paste. And boom, there are all the mods, Spark, Journey Map, and Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod, all in our mods folder. Now this is for Minecraft. This is for the Minecraft launcher, basically our local Minecraft instance. What about our server though? Well, let's go ahead and open up our Minecraft server directory. And if you have a Forge server, you will have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, you don't have a Forge server. So you need to go through our in-depth guide on setting up a Forge server linked in the description. Go check that out, get your Forge server set up, come back, and then you'll have this mods folder. 
open that up and then drag and drop all of your mods into this mods folder on your Forge server. It's that simple to add mods to your server at this point. The hard part is of course setting up the Forge server, but it's also pretty easy, really. You just kind of have to go through the process, get the Forge server set up, and then drag and drop the mods into the mods folder. Then go ahead and double click that run.bat file, as well as open up Minecraft 1.19 with Forge. We'll meet you on the Minecraft main menu to show these mods on the server. Here we are, the server is up and running on the left. As you can see, Journey Map is already pinging there, which is awesome. And on the right, we have Minecraft. Now we're going to join this. It's just a local server. So we can click multiplayer, direct connection, and I'm going to join it via local host. And now if you're doing this on, let's say an Apex server, the it's exactly the same, except you're going to add it via the Apex file manager in the panel. Instead of doing it locally, just add the mods to your mods folder on Apex via the file manager, and you're good to go. Now, right away, we can see in the top right that, uh, well, Journey Map is installed. We can also press J. It'll pull this up, and there is the map. Now, the other mod we installed was Spark, and the thing I like about Spark most is actually the profiler. So we can do Spark profiler and then dash dash start and it will start a profiler we'll let that run and i'll show you that in a second but what about mr crayfish's furniture mod well if we hit escape here we can go over and here is mr crayfish's furniture mod one of the coolest furniture mods out there in my opinion allowing you to do things like dining room tables by linking tables together separate table blocks together there let's go ahead and grab some chairs i want some uh, birch chairs here but as you can see this mod is in fact working which is awesome love to see it I remember back in the day, it was very, very difficult to get mods on servers, and uh, it's, it's gotten so much easier over time, really, uh, as Minecraft has developed and as Forge has developed, and uh, it's nice to see. I like to see uh, improvements here in the uh, different modded communities and the different aspects of Minecraft. But there we go. Our uh, server is set up. Everything is running. And if we go ahead and do slash spark profiler and then dash dash stop, we will actually get a link. It'll spit out a link here. And if we open up this link, we will be able to see, it opened up in my secondary browser, hold on. If we open up this link here, we will be able to see that this is basically the performance of our server. We can see 20 TPS, meaning absolutely no lag. You can see the CPU, the memory, the CPU system wide. That includes like my entire computer, not just the server. Whereas the uh, server is using about 3% of my CPU. My CPU in total is using about 30% of its total capacity while recording and everything. It's kind of impressive. And we can break this down more going through here, seeing the specific aspects that may be causing lag on the server. But right now there is no lag. So really it's just like, fine, right? There's no real reason to dig more into that. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. We make amazing videos on Minecraft servers. If you want to get Journey Map, if you want to get awesome Minecraft mods, World Edit, Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod, Performance Enhancing Mod like Optifine and Shaders, as well as Run Minecraft Servers, this is the channel for you, so be sure to subscribe for that. Thank you all so much for the 400,000 that we just passed. My name is Nick. We'll see you in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.